Mm hmm. New texture pack. Very nice. I like it. Look at this. It's pretty sweet. Oh. Nice world. Hmm. Hey, where'd I get this door from? Let me just... Let me just get rid of this door. What the f... Sand, sand, sand. Gravel. Alright, come on. What the f... Alright. I see where this is going. I like this crafting layout quite a bit. Definitely. Hello everyone. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to remove Minecraft Pocket Edition texture packs for free. Nice little gag on the end for uh, all you Minecraft fans. So anyway, you're going to have three programs or three things you're going to need. iExplorer, which is free off the internet. It's very useful. I promise you, you will use it after you watch this video if you don't already have it. Um, backup and iTunes. Now, you're going to have your phone hooked up to iTunes and the backup folder you can just create on your desktop. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and go into iExplorer. And, um, this, this application lets you search through all the files on your, um, on your phone. So, it's not just limited to what, like, the regular Windows file search can do. So go ahead and go into Minecraft Pocket Edition, and this is like where all your Minecraft stuff is going to be, but for your worlds, you got to go into Documents, Games, Calm Down Mojang, Minecraft Worlds, and here is your world. So each individual each individual one, you want to right click and then go to Export to Folder, Backup, and that's the backup folder you put over here. So it doesn't take that much work. You could probably do them all at once, but... I haven't figured out that figured that out yet, so I'm just going to do them one by one. And so once you get all once you get all these in, all your worlds are backed up and they are completely safe. And you can just leave this on your desktop if you want to, in case you want to like save them. But what we're gonna do is we are gonna go right into iTunes into your apps section and uncheck minecraft and that should take off minecraft i'm also going to take off this and this because i don't even know what these things are well i guess i can't take that off that's weird anyway so you're going to go ahead and click apply so that should remove two apps and you can let it remove them and this will start and um... the sync will take just a few seconds this thing will take just a few seconds, and then you should be good to go. Um, so I'm going to come back to you, and the sync is done. Alright, so the sync is done. As you can see, Minecraft is now off of my iPhone. But what we're going to do is we're going to click it and put it right back on. Go ahead and hit apply, and I'll tell you guys when that's done. Alright, guys, so Minecraft Pocket Edition is back on, as you can see right there. So we're going to go ahead and... Um, exit out of iTunes, you don't need it anymore, go back into iExplorer, and before you do anything, actually, don't go into iExplorer yet, um, didn't open, so that's good, go into Minecraft on your phone, and open it up and hit start game, so it gets the directories, and then you can, um, go into, oops, wrong one, go into iExplorer, you have to do that first, I forgot to tell you. So go ahead and continue in demo mode, apps, scroll, find your Minecraft, go to documents, games, com.mojang, Minecraft worlds, and now it's empty. So what you want to do is take all these folders and put them back in here. It does take a few seconds, but if I open one, it does have the same contents as over here. So that just proves that you're getting all the stuff back in. And there was the last one. There. So you're good to go. You have all your Minecraft worlds. Oops. All your Minecraft worlds back into here. And you can play them. Or you can leave them on your desktop in case you 
um, want to keep them there. So, guys, that is all I have to show you. Um, see you guys later.